From Cape Town came a young, dark-haired fullback, commonly referred to by his initials alone. Capable of producing flashes of sheer instinctive genius, he altered the course of many a game. He brought a new dimension to back play as the original attacking fullback. At his best, the powerful and fearless H.O. de Villiers possessed a quality that enabled him to alter the course of any game by producing flashes of pure genius. This he could and did do at all levels of rugby. H.O., strong as he was in all departments of the game, had one weakness, and that was self-confidence. And you know what self-confidence means? It means a lack of confidence in yourself. And I know Joey Enslin had a lot to do with uh, his, uh, his uh, uh, stability, which he developed in certain matches. She used to consult me in many a time and said, what must I tell H.O.? He can't sleep, he's worrying about things. That reminds me of Danny Bear when he was at his best. He also could not sleep. And we had to pacify his feelings many a time before big races. And uh, H.O. was like that too. But when that, he had that uh, emotional side of himself in control, then nobody, he himself didn't know what he was going to do. But what he did was just right and was brilliant. And uh, he could uh, turn def defense into attack as easily as, as, as anything. Williams leads the box on, grimly determined to avenge the recent record of eight losses in nine tests. And what a great match it is! The Springboks attack fiercely from the first whistle and immediately take play well into the French half. From a scrum, Darby de Villiers passes to Conor Dirksen and the powerful wing breaks through to score Throughout in the third career, minute of the game. Throughout his career, he was always a better than average kicker. New fullback de Villiers, popularly known by his initials HO, converts to give the box an early 5-0 lead. 19th minute, a penalty is awarded to South Africa and HO makes no mistake from 32 yards. The score, 8-3 to the Springboks. He was special. Uh, he was special in that he was... Um, uh, he was perhaps the first running fullback. He changed the game, but not a running fullback who could just come into the line to take the overlap. He uh, was uh, a running fullback who make, made the penetration. He was strong of the mark, quick of the mark, and very uh, uh, quick in reading the game. So uh, from a fullback position, he could, he could launch attacks all across the field. Um, in that respect, I think he was unique uh, and uh, very dangerous uh, to the opposition. Fullback Viafru comes into the line and makes the overlap for Duprat. He kicks ahead into the incredibly safe hands of H.O., who sets off on one of his many great attacking runs, mixing through and jinxing half the French team before booting ahead. Sutra manages to gather and find touch. From another line-out, the ball goes along to Gainsford, who draws his man perfectly, then passes to Engelbrecht, who shows in this his 25th test appearance that he's still capable of scoring for South Africa. Gainsford is congratulated by his teammates for helping to make the try. H.O. puts over an easy conversion to make the score 16-0 to South Africa. That's the Welsh 25. It did not matter in what weather conditions. H.O. played as if conditions were always firm and favourable. There's Fritz Dupre, the oldest man in the field, over 34, taking it beautifully, trying to hand it to Moff Maybrook, but it comes out to Lawless. Penalty against Wales for encroaching within the 10 yard area. In other words, before the line-out had ended, coming within the offside area, 10 yards back from the line-out. And it's a rare chance for H.O. de Villiers 
to give the South Africans the lead. Well, it was high enough, and this time it was straight enough and far enough. For what reason did he run with the ball and not kick like the traditional fullbacks? Kevin, I think that um, probably simply because I couldn't kick, so I had to run. But in all seriousness, I, I enjoyed the running approach simply because I enjoyed the game so much. For me to kick, kick the ball out was a waste of time. Play stopped and I was basically idle. I enjoyed being involved in the activity, trying to outwit, maybe beat the opponents. And I think that that also actually eventually um, gave me a lot of support amongst the public in that there were so many people that loved to, loved to see me beat the opposition, but there were even more that liked to see me get dumped when trying to beat the opposition. So I think it was a case for the public of the best of both worlds. But I enjoyed the activity and I'd, I didn't like the game to stop.